All right, hi everybody. In this video, we're gonna check for sprite sprite collisions in P5 Play using P5JS. So in this screen, I have four sprites, this blob sprite and this man sprite and this fire sprite and this blue box sprite. There's three main ways to check for collision. P5 Play checks whether two sprites overlap. P5 Play checks to see if one sprite can push another sprite. We call that displace. P5 Play checks if one sprite collides with another sprite. You see they behave differently, right? If overlap, checking for overlap means that the two sprites can go over each other and nothing happens other than it detects it. In the displace case, P5 Play lets one sprite push another sprite. And in the collide detection, one sprite is placed on the edge of the other sprite, depending where it is. So overlap, displace, and collide. Let's see how that code works. I'm going to, I'm going to briefly go over the stuff we've covered before. I've just declared a global variable for each of the four sprites. Sprite man, sprite blob, sprite fire, sprite blue box. And then I loaded the animation images in the preload function, because the preload function will run before the setup function. So I've loaded the man animation, the blob animation, and the fire animation from the images in my image folder that I uploaded into the P5 web editor. Now the setup function. Setup function, I've created a sprite for each object. So the sprite man, I placed here with this width and width this height, and I've named the animation man, and man I'm in is the animation in the preload section. And same with the blob. Blob, I created the sprite at this at this position with this width and height. And I named the animation blob and the blob animation is the animation I loaded in the preload. And the fire animation, same thing. I named it fire and called it fire anim. And the images for the animation are in the preload. And the blue box is just a blue box. I just created a sprite and named it sprite blue box and made the color blue using the shape color property okay so check for collisions now i made this a separate function outside of the draw function so the function is called check for collisions and there's three methods the collide method so if sprite blob dot collide with sprite fire so if the blob sprite collides with the fire sprite then this text will appear it says collide if the sprite blob displaces the man sprite, then this text will appear. It's going to show displace. And if sprite bob dot overlap, sprite blue box. So if the sprite bob overlaps the blue box, then overlap will appear in text. And that's as easy as it is. You're just putting which one of these things you want to check for, whether you want to check for collisions, whether you want to check for displacement or allow for displacement or whether you want to check for overlap. And you're just check what sprite you want to check for displacing which sprite. And then you put whatever you want to happen after you've detected that. Okay. So collide, displace, and overlap. And in the draw function, it's all the same as before. Background, the most position is going to be the sprite blob position. And I'm calling the function check for collisions in the draw function because the draw function is called again and again and again and again. That means the check for collisions will be called again and again and again. It's just a better way to organize your code, to have a function for each particular um, thing. And then I'm drawing the sprites in the draw function to show